Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this Nightbird video. We've got so much to go through, so let's get straight into it. I do just want to say, though, a big thank you for everyone that continues to tag me in this stuff. It's so, so appreciated, but it is very hard to get to everyone's thoughts theories, comments. I'm trying my best, but it's getting to the point now where I feel like I could spend all day, every day, going through these comments and I just don't know that I would get through them all. Um, it's just this campaign has really grabbed people's imagination and uh, obviously everyone wants to talk about it. Uh, with that being said, there's been a few comments coming through where people have been disappointed. Disappointed because obviously we didn't get the group today. I think we did a pretty good job to be honest with you, of saying that we was going to uh, not get too hyped up, not get um, our hopes up because we weren't expecting to see them. I think that Twitch stream on Thursday was big. I think that Twitch stream did not say to me anything about King and Queen of the Ring. Then on Friday, you know, we got a QR code that didn't say anything about King and Queen of the Ring. And I think for me, these were just big kind of messages that got sent that it was not happening this weekend. So if anything, the message June got very much sent and uh, was very much received. And we got that again uh, during this show, of course. So yeah, lots to go through. But uh, let's get started, shall we, with the QR code. It flashed up on screen some really interesting imagery. Uh, when you scan the QR code, it took you to the URL Rainerius. Now, we've had that before, right? Rainerius, of course, was the first letters of all of the coordinates. Uh, Rainerius is June 17th. That's the big takeaway. Rainerius is the patron saint of Pisa, the patron saint of travelers, and has a feast day on June 17th, right? You know that. I know that. I think we know that. So uh, once we actually got into the QR code, there was a video. We're going to walk through it. Uh, as you go down, lots of nothingness, right? Lots of nothingness. It's like a glimpse into my mind. Uh, and then here we've got, I see you found my journal. Uh, if you And a smiley face as well. Interesting. Uh, when you click on that, it takes you to the journal, the website, which was the QR code from SmackDown. Uh, if you keep going down, then it brings you to the, the bird. We've seen this before. It's got the same file name, that Dunker, uh, which we've had before and we've looked into before. So everything there is fine. There was nothing hidden in tags or anything like that. Um, this layout has been done before as well with a video, and then you have to scroll down, and then you have the Nightbird logo at the bottom. Uh, if you click it, it takes you to Twitch. Right, it takes you to Twitch, it takes you to those recent live streams, right? So, uh, there was some in the source code, we'll get to that after, but other than that, no hidden words or uh, anything like that. I mean, actually, there's a lot to talk about here, but there's not loads of hidden stuff by the looks of it, right? But we'll walk through the video because there's a lot to talk about with the video, right? So let's start uh, things off. I want to just pause it there because there's already been a few things happen, right? So we've seen the Nightbird logo. I think those circles may have been moons as well. There, there, there appeared to be like some sort of pattern to them. They weren't just white dots. Um, or they could have been Plutos. They could have been planet Plutos thinking about it. We just go back. I remember looking at them and they weren't just white dots. See how they've got like some sort of i don't know if it's just a uh, blank and there's just static behind them or if there is something more to those not massive not important uh obviously we've got like the flash of the bird flashing up in the center as well 
The other thing as well that I think is really important to know is what are we doing? This, for some people, might not know what is this noise. It's a dial-up code, of course. Back in the day with the internet, you couldn't just click on the internet and get onto the internet. You used to have to, like, dial up the internet and actually connect to it that way, right? So if ever you wanted to go on the internet, you would hear that sound as it was connecting, basically. It's a, a sound from many of our youths. So why would they be doing that? What is it that they're trying to do? I mean, dial-up is very strange. It's a strange thing to be doing now. I don't know if they're not trying to hack into a phone, right? I don't know maybe if this is Skype or something like this. I don't know if it's meant to represent that, but I think they're trying to hack into a phone. Either that or they've got like really bad internet, right? Really bad internet. And they're still using dial-up from like 1998. But I, I, I'm wondering if this is us hacking into the phone because we're about to see uh, like someone in their house and we're about to, I think, hack into their phone, right? So that's what we've got uh, so far. You'll see connecting coming up. Then you get a lot of Plutos. And, I mean, there was a lot there. There was a lot that we just got. There's a lot in a very short space of time. So here, look, we've got connecting. Then we get binary. So these are rows of numbers. That says H-E-L-L-O. It's the word hello just repeated, right? And it changes. We then get this Pluto. These could be cave drawings. And I did think about this. We've spoke a lot about caves, but we haven't looked at cave drawings, which I just think is a bit strange because you would, that would seem like a very logical thing to put into a QR code. Uh, this looks like a lot of Plutos, right? Um, uh, a lot of Plutos, maybe on like a cave or something. It could have just been on a bit big piece of paper, of course, but yeah, lots, lots and lots and lots of Plutos. Uh, except for this here, which I think is really worth pointing out. That is not a Pluto. That looks like it's got wings and is like maybe a baby bird. I don't know what that's meant to signify, but um, it does appear to be a lot of Plutos and then, but not that there. So people have asked me, is this a mask? And people really struggle to work it out. I can't tell what this is. Um, it's not a mask. It doesn't strike me as a mask. It strikes me as a cave where this has all been drawn onto, but that would need looking into a little bit more, right? Then we get to this, and again, it's hello, except this bit has changed here, right? That is Rhaenerius, which is, again, the URL, the patron saint of travelers, feast day, June 17th. That's the URL, Rainerius. We've had it before, right? Uh, and they're reiterating Rainerius here. And you can see that instead of a one, they use the Plutos. They love this Pluto symbol. That's one thing we've learned, right? Let's carry on. So <laughs> you can't even move on that much because you just keep getting so much stuff. So there's the bride, right? So we get the bride. I, I did wonder if there was something that was here, but uh, I, it's probably just a shadow, to be honest. It's probably just a shadow. Um, this is a very distorted picture. Very, very distorted. So uh, we get the car, we get the night birds, we get welcome, and then we're in, right? Then we're in. This is interesting. But again, we can't move too far forward because we need these right so a massive shout out to tame impasta right tame impasta um wrestling rian there's there's quite a few people that have uh really they're just really good at this stuff right i mean if it wasn't for you lot we just would get nowhere right so many of you get in touch with such good theories the theory here is that this is Nikki Cross's house, right? That this is Nikki Cross's house and that this is the two bowls for her dogs. She's got two dogs and she shared that information online, right? So we've got a bowl of food, bowl of water, right? And so we've got two dogs uh, and so we've got two places for them to eat, right? People have also looked at the carpet and the flooring. People have also looked at the couch, 
There you can see the couch. You don't get much of a look at it, right? But you just get enough of a glimpse. But people are thinking we've hacked into Nikki Cross's husband's phone. Now, I don't know why he's got his phone. I don't know what he's doing with his phone, right? Uh, I don't know why he's got his phone out, but we've hacked into it, okay? So that's what we're about to see. So we're about to see in Nikki's house, we've hacked into his phone. And, or at least I think we've hacked. We might have Skyped, but if we've Skyped or Zoomed or whatever, who does he think he's talking to? Who are we? Do you know what I mean? What? Who's he talking to? And plus also, he hasn't gone, hello? He doesn't say hello and greet us, right? It feels like we've hacked in and he doesn't know that we've hacked in. So uh, let's play this through. I love this game. Now, that was a big moment, right? He says, I love this game, and people have heard the voice. And it definitely sounds like, to me, my first thought was it was a, a, an Irish accent. Um, some people have said it's a Scottish accent. And they're very close. They're very close countries, right? And they've obviously got a lot of crossover. It's not like we're dealing with Australia, right? And New Zealand and places like that. Uh, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, they're, they're very close. So, um, yeah, I heard it and I thought Ireland or Northern Ireland. Um, and that would fit actually with Nikki Cross because her husband is from Northern Ireland, right? The other thing as well is it's been pointed out that this is Extreme Rules. So I do want to give a shout out to Nita Nitro and Planet Dan and many uh, uh, others of you out there. This is important because this is the show that Bray came back on. He came back at Extreme Rules, right? And I think, actually, that uh, Bianca and Bailey competed at Extreme Rules. So, obviously, when Bray returned, Bray returned in 2002, right? Uh, he came back at uh, in 2002. And on that show, we did get Bianca versus Bailey. It was actually a ladder match for the Raw Women's Championship on that same show. So this is a computer game, but it's Extreme Rules. And it is a match that happened, that actually happened between these two. Uh, someone else pointed out, and I didn't get a chance to look into this, that uh, that is the same attire that Bianca wore when she competed against Alexa Bliss at the Royal Rumble in 2003. And I'm just putting it in now because I will have a look. And uh, if that is correct, I will tell you it is correct. <laughs> that is correct. That is the attire that she wore when she faced Alexa Bliss at Royal Rumble 2023. And I tell you what would be really fun if uh, Bailey and Alexa, uh, when they faced, if Bailey had wore this gear. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to find uh, that match, to be honest. So that might take a little bit more uh, work. But how fun that that is the ring gear that Bianca wore when she faced Alexa the last time we saw Alexa. The last time that we saw Alexa. That's pretty fun. That is pretty fun. I can't remember when uh, Alexa faced Bailey, though. Otherwise, I would search for it live right now, and then I would tell you if that's the attire that Bailey wore when she faced Alexa. If it is, that would be uh, that would be brilliant. So we've got this game anyway, right? He's enjoying it. You're going to hear a noise, and then this person who we think is Killian Dane is going to go over to the window. Noise. Right. Hello? Now, you could hear that hello, right? And he goes over to the window and starts looking out the window. Um, this is what we're interested in. We're interested in this picture here, right? Uh, if we run it a little bit, you can see a little bit more of it. Uh, in fact, if we just go back a, a, a moment, I mean, you can see it again there. Right now, this is really important because this is we don't know what this is. My first thought was this was a missing person. Right. And my first thought was it was the therapist. 
And I like that. But the problem is that the therapist, she doesn't have the most blonde hair I've ever seen, right? It definitely is dark and it goes blonder as it gets longer. But I don't, I can't say that that's the therapist. You know, if that was a missing person picture of the therapist, I, I, I that would be really cool, right? That would be really cool. But that doesn't make sense that it's a missing person of Nikki Cross because we think that Howdy is arriving in this house to take Nikki Cross, right? And so it wouldn't make sense there was a missing person of her. So this is, in my mind, it's one of two things. Well, actually, it's one of three things, right? It's one of three things. It's either a missing person picture of the therapist, but there are big concerns about the hair, right? It's either a screensaver of Nikki Cross, and um, it's just Nikki Cross's laptop or her computer, and she's got a screensaver of herself, right? You know, a little bit vain, right? I don't know how many of us have got our own picture of screensavers. Yeah, I know I don't. So a uh, little bit vain. Um, and so it could be that. Or it could be that this is just someone we haven't met yet. It could be that there is another missing person, right? It doesn't strike me as being Eric Rowan or Joe Gacy or Dexter Loomis or anything like that. So I think if I had to pick one, I would say Nikki Cross, screensaver, right? If I had to pick one, I would go with that. My first thought was therapist, but I think now I'm, I'm Nikki Cross, screensaver. But uh, it's so hard to tell. I mean, we are really dealing with, you know, something not that big. And it's also being reflected in a, in a window. So it's not the clearest of images. Hello? So he looks outside. Now, I think I can see someone here. Right? So he looks outside and he says, hello? Can you see that looks like an arm? Now, I don't think that's his arm. I don't think that's him looking out of the window. That seems to be there now. Seems to be there. That there. Look at that arm. This person, I'm guessing, is here. I mean, look, right now, right now, he is there. So that's the reflection of the person that we've hacked into their phone, right? He is there. And there, there is a person. Arm, you can see the arm. Arm, 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 arm. Arm, maybe head, maybe face. Maybe face. Still there, look, outline of the arm. We're moving away. They're now moving over there as we move. And I think they're about here now. They're there. And then we sort of lose them, right, in the lights. And then this is when we say hello. Let's just run it forwards a little more. Hello? And now, all of a sudden, they're here, but this is actually a reflection. So that means that now, they're not outside, they're behind, right? They're behind, so that you can zoom in, you can sort of see a little bit of an outline of someone, a little bit of an outline, right? I mean, that's really cool as well. So we get uh, connection lost there. There is one of the big moments of this, of course. And uh, people have looked at that and said it's Howdy. I think it's a really good uh, shout that that's Uncle Howdy. I feel good that's Howdy. Connection lost. So I think we're now out of the phone. Bit of music now. What's that music about? What's that music about? 
Why have we got that? I mean, I don't know if that can be identified. I don't know if that's important. But uh, we get that. And then, of course, we get those images at the end. So if we just scrub forwards. So here we get image one, which we've seen before. Image two, which we've seen before. Image three, which we've seen before. And image four, which I don't know that I've seen before. I feel, having seen your evidence that you've sent over, and I think that's an Uncle Howdy mask. Some people were telling me it was a bow mask. But I think it's an Uncle Howdy mask. Uh, Taming Pasta said, if this is Howdy coming after Nikki Cross, then uh, she was the first one in the journal. So are we now going to see him go after the other three? Are those going to be future QR codes? Which I just thought was a really, really good shout. Really good shout. If we go back, uh, I think we want to go to about 47, 48. I thought I heard something around this time. Listen out around this time. 46, 47, sorry, 46, 47. I'll go back to 45. Let's see what we can hear. Did you hear that then? Did you hear that? Let's go back again. What is that? I don't know that that's the game. I mean, I haven't been here in the game. There's like a... Something like this. I'll set... I'll set you free. Something like that. I'll set you free. Might not be. I don't know. It might be nothing, but I'm really interested in the outline of that person that's outside. And I'm really interested in that noise around 46, 47 seconds. I'm really interested in those. Then, of course, we've got that little bit of a song. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in that, but I'm pretty confident it's Uncle Howdy. Um and then, of course, we've got these masks and images or whatever at the very end that we've just looked at, right? So that was it, right? That was the QR codes. Uh, lots there, of course, for us to get our teeth into. Um, and lots for you to get your teeth into. So let's go over to uh, the Nightbird folder. We'll go down to the bottom and we'll work our way through. So let's unwoosh this. I'm going to try and get through this like at a nice pace so that we can uh, touch on stuff but uh, make a little bit of progress. So here, look, we've got that picture at the start. This was the QR codes. I think this is really interesting. Uh, and I said, is that Gacy? Because that's my first thought. This looks like a face. That looks like a body. There's the QR code. So to me, this looks like Joe Gacy. I would like this to move, though, because there is another image and there feels like there's something behind this QR code. Another person, maybe. Um, like, I don't know if they're, like, crouching over or something, but they are here, right? I could be completely wrong, but there is another image and it's quite interesting. So we've got that. Uh, Trevor said Alexa won money in the bank on June 17th so June 17th you're going to keep hearing we've got the Renarius but look at this mother of exiles arrived in New York New York Harbor right that was in the source code so Ian shout out to you it has been mentioned that that is the date that um, the Statue of Liberty arrived it arrived on June 17th Right. So that's a big, big connection. June 17th. We, it just keeps getting battered at us. Right. This is why I'm not down on us not getting them today, because as long as they're going to keep banging that June 17th drum, I'm all right with it. Uh, who knows? Maybe we get Nikki Cross arriving on June 15th to let us know that everyone is coming on June 17th. The, the whole group are going to arrive. It'd be a shame for Nikki to not be at Clash at the Castle. But um, June 17th is what we're looking at. And I know people will say, isn't, shouldn't they be at the PLE? But the Hydro can only hold about 11,000, 12,000. It, it just doesn't hold that many people. 
So, uh, you know, we're looking at on Monday Raw and we're looking at uh, this being maybe even a bigger crowd. Maybe even a bigger crowd. So, uh, source codes, amazing. Right, uh, Nuada said, the shadow in the reflection is someone in a coat. Uh, that person's accent is Scottish. Could be Scottish, but I'm leaning towards Northern Ireland and certainly the connection with Nikki Cross. Here, look, we've got this uh, weird image that we saw at the end. You'll see this later and you'll see someone comparing it to the Uncle Howdy mask. So uh, I definitely think there's some in that. So aesthetic, Wyatt Six, shout out to you. Bland SF said, if you look at the... Uh, that is Nikki's place, and there's one of her dogs, right? So if you look here at the couches, they're similar. I can't say they're 100% identical, but, I mean, if you look at that there and, like, drop the resolution down to, like, 20, 40, 240p, right, you'll probably end up with that. Yeah, <laughs> like, th that is not great image. So, you know, there you can see a connection, right? They're not a million miles away from each other. Let's put it that way. Right, Matt pointing out that the binary code said hello. And obviously we know Rainerius was in there as well. Oh, this is very good. Misfit Wrestling Podcast has found a clip of the person from the QR code and a clip of Killian Dane. So that is Nikki Cross's husband. So let's play this and you can listen for yourself and see what you think. It's an interesting workout you got good on there. <laughs> I love this game. It's an interesting workout you got good on there. <laughs> I love this game. So there we go. Is that the same person? I mean, we're dealing with different spaces, different, you know, different um, room sizes. We're dealing with a lot of different things and a different microphones. So it might not sound exactly the same, but it's very, very close, isn't it? Is it close enough whereby it could be the same person? Don't know. I think it is, but... Uh, Hailstorm said, Renarius, June 17th. That is the day the Statue of Liberty, the mother of exiles, arrived in New York Harbor. So, Hailstorm, thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Here's the one, look. Jordan said, see the resemblance and the way the face is turned. Yeah. I can see the resemblance and, like, the nose as well. Like, the way the nose is shaped. I look at the nose there and, like, some sort of shadow, something being here. I could believe that being this moustache and this sort of, like, gritted teeth. I, I think I think I feel good. That feels good to me. So, uh, Jordan, I agree with you. Here's uh, Ronnie Mac says, uh, just changing this, you can kind of see a little more detail but there you can see that they're clearly in a coat. I mean, that might even be a hat here. I mean, I feel like this is howdy. Some people thought The Fiend, but The Fiend was Bray Wyatt's monster. And um, I'm sure we will get The Fiend at some point, but I don't know that it will be a part of this campaign. Might be referenced, but I don't know that we'll ever see him. Um, certainly not during this campaign. So, yeah, it would make sense that this is howdy. I love the fact that we're making him a bit more terrifying, you know? Uh, this is a good look for Howdy. This is a good look for Howdy. So, uh, yeah, cool. Hey, this is Wrestle. Rian does an amazing job. Says, on reflection, it's more likely to be Killian Dane with the Irish accents. Nikki has got two dogs, which she posted on her sofa yesterday. I love the fact that she may have done this on purpose. I love the fact that, you know, we might look at this, it's just her having a, a lovely time. But actually, she's posting this knowing that this is coming. And we need to know that she has two dogs and we need to know what her sofa looks like. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we needed that information. Um, I, I wonder if it was done for that reason. I mean, I'm sure she doesn't mind posting a picture of a sofa and a lovely dogs. I'm sure that's no chore. But um, yeah, I love that connection. That's really cool. From Pillar's Post said, Mother of Exiles arrive in New York Harbor. Mother of Exiles is a poem from the Statue of Liberty. So another connection there. So from Pillar's Post, shout out to you. Uh, it does look like the dog has got a halo 
in the words of Beyonce. But uh, Bland SF said, I've got more proof. I mean, I, I believe you, Bland. It's fine. Uh, but you've got more proof and I like it. So here, look, you can see the carpet and a tiled floor. You can see, obviously, there's a difference in the flooring. And then look at this. Uh, clearly, there's some sort of rug or carpet. And then it goes into some sort of different flooring here. Like, that's why they're a different color. It's how the light is uh, reacting. So uh, that being carpet into tile could be like that situation there. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. Bland SF, I like it. Right, uh, the binary code also changes to Rhaenerius, that one there that we pointed out. A Dersh. Love it, buds. Love it. And the Pluto there as well. Uh, Crimson said, uh, I see you found my journal is clickable and it will take you to the previous site. So Crimson, shout out to you, my friends. Brilliant job. Click on that. You get that. Just like at the bottom, you click on the Nightbirds, you go to the Twitch account. Uh, Andrew Atkins said the source code says New York Harbor. We do have a smackdown there on Friday. I don't think that's going to result in anything, to be honest, other than another QR code. But it does make me wonder if they might go a little heavier with the Statue of Liberty stuff on Friday, what with us being in New York. But um, I, I think that June 17th is really being hammered home, to be honest. Uh, Harry uh, tagging me in this. Thank you. Hello, it's Crash says Mother of Exiles. Mother of Exiles is the name of an episode of Westworld. It premiered on April 5th, 2020. The Firefly Funhouse match at WrestleMania 36 was on April 5th, 2020. That's just a fun coincidence, isn't it? That's just good. I like that. Um, Adam said the voice in the video sounded Irish. Nikki Cross's husband is from Northern Ireland. Uh, is it that Uncle Howdy is coming to take Nikki Cross? Uh, TV reflection, missing person report, therapist. It's a definite option. Definite option. But um, I do like the idea that it's probably Nikki and her screensaver. People, you see, people might not know that she is married to someone from Northern Ireland. And they could go online and find that picture and start matching stuff up. But it probably would make sense to just have a picture of her somewhere. They probably could have had one on the mantelpiece or something, you know. That would have been quite good. A picture of them on their wedding day. You know, you can sort of see it, but can't quite make it out. Like, they could have done that as well. I'm just wondering if instead they went with a computer and a screensaver and they decided to do that and have the reflection in the window kind of a thing. Don't know. It's good, though. It's really good. So, uh, yeah, well, this was good. Uh, EST, Firefly Forever, 12 Sex A. Shout out to you. Tagging me in this from Fade Away Media. Yeah, this is on the kickoff show. But your sit down with, with Cody. But your sit down with, with Cody. So that was interesting. We will get to something in a bit, which is a glitched graphic, right? So we will get to that in a bit. Right here, uh, this is a theory, but the 15 alongside the words arrived in, could that be that they arrive on the 15th of June? Uh, I don't think so, but I, I wanted to include this because I love that they could use this. So these are the numbered lines in the code, so could you imagine, right, if, and it could be like on the 15th, they're going to arrive, right? I mean, it's good. It's really good. But could you imagine if as we get closer, one of the code drops and it says like 13 QR, 14 nothing, 15 Twitch, 16 nothing, 17 hello. Something like that. That would be sick if we use this as dates. Uh, that would be really sick because at first people would just read it as nothing QR Twitch hello. But then if they move it and add that in, oh, God, I really like that. So, Harry, shout out to you. Uh, Joseph just pointing out that uh, Nightbirds, uh, obviously owls, you think of owls. And there was the Court of Owls in the White Rabbit campaign. And that is true. I remember that Court of Owls are from the Batman kind of 
world and uh there was someone in an owl mask during white rabbit we haven't seen them in this campaign so we're not going to worry about it at this stage but um just something to remember there's a lot of people watching nightbird that didn't watch white rabbit so um yeah we did actually get that someone in this owl mask but we never got a reveal i don't know if it turned out to just be stock footage actually we never that never actually went anywhere i am actually quite surprised we haven't been seeing that person in with this stuff but then i suppose maybe they're looking at it thinking we don't want people reading into someone that's not part of it really you know maybe they're thinking that although they did hide the news article didn't they from the los angeles times that we spent all that time trying to decode and then it turned out to be just you know royalty free copyright free pulling our hair out stuff Right, uh, Bailey said the connected has a question mark that only showed for a split second. Connected question mark? Don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's got something to do with trying to hack into the phone, connect into the phone. Is the phone even confused if it's connected or not? <laughs> I don't know. But I, true, the, the question mark flashed up and, and was gone like straight away. Right, uh, here's the therapist. I mean, what I do want to point out is if you actually cover the bottom part of her hair, her hair at the top is quite dark. It's quite dark. Um, it actually gets blonder as it gets further down. But actually up here, look, it's quite dark, her hair. So I, I really don't know about that missing person, if it is even a missing person report. I mean, as I said, therapist missing person report, Nikki screensaver or a picture of someone we've just yet to be introduced to. I, I, I can't tell. But anyway, Anthony says, the shadow figure from today's video was visible in photo 14 from that therapy session. So uh, look at this. This is the, the leg or the arm of the chair. And you can sort of see a bit of a reflection here. Now, that looks to be the same color as that, doesn't it? So that actually looks like it's a reflection of her. So this is actually quite interesting because if that is her, what is that? What is that? That's good. That's, I like that. That's good. It makes me want to go and look at that picture in its entirety. But it'll be another one of them, won't it, where I'll look at it and I'll go, I just can't make it out. I just don't know. So it'll just be another frustrating thing to add to the list of frustrating things. But um, that's good. Right, uh, Brady said, I know this is most likely referencing Bray's return, but Bailey and Bianca are Alexa Bliss's last two opponents. So, Brady, shout out to you. I need to find that match where Alexa faced Bailey just before she faced Bianca, and I need to see what Bailey was wearing. Um, because that is crazy that that is what Bianca was wearing when she was going up against um alexa it could of course just happen by chance to be the same attire she wore actually i should do that shouldn't i i should have a look and see is this the exact attires they were wearing at extreme rules extreme rules uh 2022 bailey it isn't it isn't neither of them are wearing the attire that they wore that night these are not the same attires as when they faced each other at Extreme Rules. Interesting. That is interesting. Right, here, if you put the two pictures together, uh, they sort of make a face, says uh, Aaron. I can see that, but I feel like the perspective is different. I feel like that person's facing this way, and this person is facing, like, this a different way so uh there we go i kind of feel like this person's looking towards me yeah like i've just said something wrong and then that person is sort of looking down here so i, I get it and i've actually been tagged in this quite a bit which is why i wanted to include it and just mention it but i don't think they connect but you know they could still both be uncle howdy masks <laughs> i could believe that oh here it is look so metal mama shout out to you so here look we've got there is the uh, image we looked at earlier here i think is the same image but just with a different like you know effect on this time it's not wavy and so you can see the straight lines rather than the bendy lines so we've got something here and then what's this what the hell's that 
Is that something here? I mean, or is that nothing? Is that something or is that nothing? I don't know. Uh, but it covers it up here, so I can't quite make it out. I mean, that might just be the back. It might just be... Like lines going down, lines going across, and it might just be nothing, you know? It's really hard to tell. When I looked at it before, I was like, oh, that could be something. I'd like to see a little more there. But, you know, the more I look at it now, the more I think, is it just the background, you know? It's very difficult. It's very deceiving. But, um, yeah, I really like these. I really like, I think, I look at that and see Joe Gacy, but it could turn out to be like a famous serial killer or something, couldn't it? Could turn out to be a famous serial killer. So those are some of the key images that flashed up uh, this face here as well. Very interesting. I feel like it, that's, yeah, that's that one. Right there, there's another shot of that reflected picture. Uh, here, uh, Wrestle Rian saying that could be that. Is that what we've got? Is this a screensaver of Nikki AS ASH? I mean, I don't know why your own computer would have you as a screen. I don't know. I mean, I have to ask Nikki, really. But uh, either way, you know, that looks good, doesn't it? That looks quite close. That looks good. Uh, you can hear a sort of music, said Crimson. So Crimson, shout out to you. Yep, I, I completely agree. That music at the end, very, very interesting. Noxtalgia said, here's a random thought. Pluto was a planet and then it was removed. Uh, try, they tried to forget about it, but a devout crew still believe it is a planet, right? The first spacecraft to visit Pluto was called New Horizons, which there was a QR code about right with uh was it event horizons uh event horizons maybe we've overlooked the obvious so um i really like that i really like that i think that um there could be something in that I, in the sense of pluto was part of something and now it's not i mean it was a planet and now it's kind of been downgraded to like a dwarf planet um, so it was in a group, it was in a family, and now it's been sort of kicked out. I, I, I like that. And as you said, you know, uh, Event Horizon has been mentioned before. Um, does that connect in any way? So I think Pluto, I think Pluto is so strong a theme, you know, that symbol, which is a symbol of, I believe, rebirth, regeneration, right? Um, that, yeah, we, we probably should be looking into everything, even the dog from Disney. You know, we should be looking into anything and everything connected with uh, Pluto. Nikki said, do the names of the members give a hint towards puppets? Hex, Abby, Prey, Rambling Rabbit, Spark, Huskus, Truncheon, Mercy. It's good, that, isn't it? It's good, that. It's really good. That is really good. Because that would explain why we've recruited four people. That would explain why we've brought in four. Why not three? Why not five? Why not ten? Why four? Well, it's because there's four puppets. Hex is the curse that a, a witch applies. She can put a hex on you, I believe. So that would be Abby. Pray. I, I didn't understand why... I can't remember who it was that was Prey. Dexter Loomis, I think. I was like, why Why would he be Prey? But it's not him. It's, it's Rambling Rabbit, who was eaten in the funhouse and was pushed around and bullied a lot, right? And he's a rabbit. I mean, rabbits are Prey, really, for lots of animals. Um, so that fits... Spark is the one that I was like, I don't get Spark. I don't get Spark. How does that connect to Huskus? But Huskus was his first character. Huskus is what got him on TV. Huskus, Husky Harris is the one that, you know, kicked this thing off. That was the spark that ignited his career because that got him onto TV. It, you could argue, fizzled out and he had to go back to NXT and start again. But... Husky Harris was the the spark that kicked it all off. I mean, that is what he was on NXT 
uh, as a rookie as, you know? That's what he was getting exposure with. So is does it connect in that way? And then Truncheon, I always think of Truncheon as like a authority. I mean, here in the UK, a truncheon is what a policeman carries around. A policeman would have a truncheon. It's like a nightstick, right? So a truncheon is serious. It's authority. Those are the kind of things I associate with that. It's a it's a police officer's weapon. Um, and so mercy is, a, a, you know, authority. Mercy is a, a weapon, if you will. I mean, he is probably the most angriest. He's the, he, I've got to admit, of all the puppets, I wouldn't want to upset. I think Mercy would be number one. I wouldn't want to get the wrong side of Abby, but I wouldn't care about upsetting Huskus. I mean, what's he going to do? I can outrun him. I wouldn't care about upsetting Rambling Rabbit. What's he going to do? You know, cry probably. So uh, of the two puppets that I wouldn't want to upset, it would definitely be Abby and Mercy. So I just really, I love that. I think that is so, so good. So Nikki Smith, shout out to you. Uh, Sam Ukalisivi. Is that how you say it? Oh, I should have just gone with Ryan, shouldn't I? <laughs> Ryan McLean says, Days, I noticed the QR code video of the guy who watched the 2K24 vid um, match. Bianca versus Bailey. The ring gear is the same one Bel Air wore in the Alexa Bliss match. So it's Ryan that told me that information. I didn't know that information. It's Ryan that told me that information, right? Um, brilliant, 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 brilliant. We need to establish, though, what's that Bailey attire, right? Having looked, I've got it right in front of me now, Bailey at Extreme Rules wore red, right? She wore red. And um, uh, uh, Bianca was wearing, like, white and gold at Extreme Rules. So... I love the fact that uh, that connects with Alexa, but what was that? What was that Bailey attire? Right, this was uh, the thing here. Look, so Diamond Wolf, shout out to you. Thoughts? Here's Crimson. Yo, 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 yo. right? So this was uh, this went out on WhatsApp, and obviously they know a lot of people that are into this now. Follow them on WhatsApp, yeah. So it went up and then it got deleted. So look at this glitch. Look at this glitch here that went up on the WhatsApp and then got deleted. So that happened during the countdown show. So very cool. Uh, uh, Resenta said distorted pick before the QR code. So yeah, I I'm leaning towards this being Uncle Howdy and the mask. People are thinking it's this. I can see why people would think that, but this feels narrower than that. That feels like wider. And uh, the perspective seems to be just a little bit off. Like that seems to be looking that way. That seems to be a bit more like this way sort of a thing. Just that little bit off, you know? So a lot of people tag me in that. Um, I'm thinking no, but I love it. Uh, here, I love this theory said, they are ejecting the VHS. Does this mean we're done watching and we're here? So this was, um, I don't know, five hours ago. So I don't think the show had ended by that point. So the theory was that the eject might mean that the tape's being pulled out and they're ready to arrive. Obviously, it didn't go that way. But um, I do wonder what this eject is all about. That didn't feature in the video. This was, I believe, just when the QR code hit. few quick uh, graphics which we've looked at. And this eject in the corner. What does that mean? What does that mean? The only video that I remember seeing is the video in the therapist's office so would that mean that this could have been captured during a session or something i don't i don't know interesting right uh here's tame impasta right i believe today's qr code showed us nikki being recruited this is the hex I journal every entry but being shown to us. We are seven WWE televised events away from the 17th. There are seven more journal entries remaining after Hex. I think we are now following. So what uh, I think this might be, is this the person outside? Uh, I think it's the person outside that we were tracking, right? Um, 
So here we've got seven, seven more entries in the journal and seven more TV shows. So are we going to just follow the list down? Tell you, Taming Pasta, you've got to be... Gotta be following Tame and Pasta. Again, look, I think I can confirm this is Nikki's house. Nikki has two dogs. Um, and I believe Uncle Howdy is visible outside the window. I think you can actually track him over the other side and get a, not a bad look at the face as well, actually. But um, love this. Killing it. As we said, there's some brilliant work. Uh, and this is our last one for this. Oh. So here, look, uh, Marty versus the world uh, tag me in this. So Marty versus the world, shout out to you. Bray Wyatt forever said, for people thinking Bo won't come back as Howdy, they're forgetting we got this at the end of WWE World. So this is where he basically grabs the hat. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, after today especially, you know, this was sent on the 24th a few days ago. I think that's when we get the bow sort of smile, you know. I, I think just to bring clarity to that, because we did a video where we were talking about, like, Bo, no howdy. What, what I mean by this is that I was only expecting howdy. I thought we would only get Uncle Howdy. So the fact that we saw Bo's smile the other day, the smile down here, yeah, this smile. This suggests that we may be getting Bo as well, right? So it's not Howdy all the time. We're definitely going to get Howdy. I don't think there was any doubt on that. But I think getting Bo is the real surprise. Getting Bo is the real surprise. Because um, Bo, if he was to come out as himself and like talk to the audience more as himself, maybe more as Taylor, like himself. Do you remember when Bray came back and he was like, guys, this is me. I'm, I'm Wyndham. You've never seen me like this, you know, but that meant he could talk to the audience directly from his heart. And I think the audience would love that from Bo as well, because he got an opportunity to talk to the uh, fans at the hall of fame when he inducted his dad and his uncle. But I think the fans would like something more to do with Bray where he can tell us a bit about Bray and how much the fans meant to Bray and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I think that would be really cool. And then, like, you know, he's got Howdy as that alter ego. And we said during our live stream, it's fine for him to have Howdy as an alter ego, but I do think he needs to make the character darker. And I think, you know, that is what we've seen here. This is... Howdy breaking into someone's house, lurking around outside, looking quite menacing. And, um, you know, the presentation of this needs to be bang on because we're not going to have the fiend around much because that was Bray. We might get him like once or twice here and there as someone else plays the character. But it, there's no guarantee it's going to feel the same because how can it? That was Bray. And there's only one Bray, right? the mannerisms, the size of Bray, like, you, you can't replace that. You can't replace that. And I, I don't even know if it's a wise thing to even try. So we've got to lean into Uncle Howdy now as being the new monster. We've got to lean into Uncle Howdy really replacing the fiend. And that is, how do you replace the fiends, you know? But people are looking at this and they're excited and they know this is the Bray story and it's all Bo and Bray and Howdy and Funhouse and Alexa's coming back and, you know, everyone's so excited and rightfully so. But I am just that little worried that it's like, can, can Bo and more, can Uncle Howdy carry the weight of expectation, you know? We're taking it a step at a time, but the reason I'm saying this is because what we've seen in this QR code fills me with so much confidence. I'm so excited by what we've seen because the tone is right. It's it's scary. It's really good. You've got this person lurking around outside. You've got all these little references and then boom, you can see him behind. And actually when we see him, he looks quite big and he's in the shadows and he, he looks cool. So I like the presentation of all of this. I'm excited by what's going to come next. So 
Yeah, but what's coming next is uh, obviously we're going to be doing a few videos on the second channel as we talk about King and Queen of the Ring. I will definitely have a video for you tomorrow because I've got lots of just random thoughts from people um, about like Nightbirds and a few like bits and bobs that we can just round up the week with. So um, we can definitely do a video tomorrow as well. So I'll have that on the channel. Um, but obviously, we're not expecting any more QR codes or anything tomorrow. But it'll be nice to just have a, a break from that. I mean, we got something on Monday. We got some on Wednesday. We got some on Thursday. We got some on Friday. We got something today. I mean, it's been pretty full on. I'm not going to lie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty full on so uh but it's also been amazing and uh obviously we don't have to wait too long monday we'll be back and i'm sure they'll be back with another qr code thanks a lot for watching i so appreciate all the support have a great evening wherever you are and i will see you again next time bye for now